Our Sounding Out programme was created in response to two things. Firstly, many of the prisoners we worked with on projects inside were asking us how they could become part of something outside and wanting to know what the opportunities were. Secondly, a desire to maintain the momentum and positivity gained through those prison projects during what can be a very difficult time and transition through the gate. Over the course of two years we work with men and women that we first met inside prison and we offer them a range of different performance work and training opportunities. One part of the programme is training them to become support musicians on our Making Tracks Young People's programme, where they'll work with young people who are on the fringes of the criminal justice system. Another opportunity we provide is they will form a band where they'll write original music, record it onto a CD and perform it at conferences and events, as well as doing a large-scale performance at the end of the two-year traineeship. My role is to get to know participants on the projects, form a relationship with them and support them long term with education, training and work opportunities. The participants usually come into contact with myself by a referral. Then I'll arrange a one-to-one -one appointment with them where I do an assessment with them and find out what their needs are, find out a little bit more about their situation and find out what their experience and interests are. Then from that, I will take that and source some opportunities for them. Um, this might be training, it might be work opportunities, tailored to their interests. Some of the organisations that I've referred people on to has been Community Music for their degree course, the Cursler Trust, the Royal Philharmonic Orchestra and the Royal Dangate Theatre. We occasionally run week-long intensive projects with our sounding out bands and we are setting out to write music together, in essence. In order to get from a Monday morning when we've just met to a Friday when we're potentially doing a performance or making a recording, the band on the bandstand has to go through a great deal together. Potentially they have never even met. In all the years that I've done it, of all the thousands of people that I've worked with doing this work, I've never met someone who said that they don't like music. It's an art form that we can, we can share whilst we make it. And, and it's that that makes it such a powerful tool to engage with in this kind of work. Whilst in prison, um, the Irene Taylor Trust came in and they did a Sound and Out project, um, of which a group of us were all involved. We all got to write our own songs, our own music. We all got to play individual instruments. And yeah, we got to do a live gig at the end of it. Um, and we also got to get things recorded. It was a great week. It brought us all closer together and uh, it gave us all an understanding of what music should be. The Irene Taylor Music Trust have managed to get me onto a drama class at the Royal and Durngate Theatre, in which 15 of us are going to be writing a brand new play, and which is really good, going really well. I did a project um, while I was in Brixton with um, the Irene Taylor Trust, uh, myself and six others being involved in a project that we now know was sounding out. And come from all walks of life, different backgrounds, and I had obviously been inside. The hardest thing was obviously going in somewhere where you don't know people, you know, you've never met before, so, and you're kind of putting yourself out there, but it's just to remember why you was there, which was literally for the music. My involvement in the Making Tracks project came off of the doing the Sound and Art projects as a mentor, but in the youth side of uh, the projects. Some of these kids, as well as, you know, some other people which I've met in my walk of life, haven't had, you know, the greatest of upbringings and stuff like that, but there is something in them in which I found within me that could get you to, you know, open up, broaden up your ideas, you know, and your aspirations, your goals. I'm taking every step as it comes, and I believe that taking that first step allow you to make even more steps.